Good morning. Today is the Friday of the 28th week in ordinary time. Jesus tells us to be careful not to live a life of pretense. We all appreciate it when we meet an authentic person. Before God, all pretense is eventually uncovered. God misses nothing. Today's Gospel, Jesus tells his disciples that everything that is concealed will be revealed. He also tells them that every secret has its own revelation. But Jesus shifts his focus and told his disciples that there is no need to fear because God is always watching them. Today, Jesus reminds us that we don't need to worry and every one of us is deeply significant to God. May we pray for the grace to trust and believe that God loves us more than we can ever imagine. We lift up in this Eucharistic celebration the intentions of our loved ones that the Lord may continue to shower them with his blessings. We also pray for the members of our family who have passed on to the next life that they may be granted eternal rest and happiness. We pray for the soul of Arjun Bayado, Pio Kawaling Jr., Florencia Kawaling, and all souls in purgatory. Let us now stand and welcome our presider, Reverend Father Joris Calsa STV, and together let us sing our entrance hymn. Come, let us sing to every nation. Great is our God and King. He is the rock of our salvation. Lift up your hearts and sing. So sing, for we are God's people. For He has shown us His ways. He gathers us to His tent. To partake of His grace, come let us sing to every nation. Great is our God and King. He is the rock of our salvation. Lift up your hearts and sing. Great is our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today, we are also celebrating the feast of St. Margaret Mary Alacoque. She is a visionary of Jesus and she propagated the devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And so, my dear educative pastoral community, my dear students and parents following us live uh, online, let us offer this Holy Mass for one another, that through the Sacred Heart of Jesus and through the prayers of St. Margaret Mary, we may always be thinking of holiness in our life, coming together as God's family, with confidence, let us ask the Lord for pardon and strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour out on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit with which you so remarkably endowed St. Margaret Mary Alacoque, so that we may come to know that the love of Christ which surpasses all understanding and be utterly filled with your fullness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Uh -huh. 
a reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. We hoped in Christ before he came and we were sealed with the Holy Spirit. In Christ, we were chosen. For in the decree of God, who administers everything according to his will and counsel, we were predestined to praise his glory by being the first to hope in Christ. In him, you too were chosen. When you heard the glad tidings of salvation, the word of truth, and believed in it, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit who had been promised. He is the pledge of our inheritance, the first payment against the full redemption of a people God has made his own to praise his glory. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let our response be, Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Happy, Happy the, the people, people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With a ten-stringed lyre, chant his praises. Please respond. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Please respond. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Happy the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. For from heaven the Lord looks down, he sees all mankind. Please respond for the last time. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. A crowd of thousands had gathered so dense that they were treading on one another. Jesus began to speak first to his disciples Be on guard against the yeast of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. There is nothing concealed that will not be revealed. Nothing hidden that will not be made known. Everything you have said in the dark will be heard in the daylight. What you have whispered in locked rooms will be proclaimed from the rooftops. I say to you who are my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body and can do no more. I will show you whom you ought to fear. Fear him who has the power to cast into Gehenna after he has killed. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for a few pennies? Yet not one of them is neglected by God. In very truth, even the hairs of your head are counted. Fear nothing then. You are worth more than a flock of sparrows. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Where's the camera? Here or there? You're using this one. <laughs> so, today is a Friday, and uh, it's a very nice kind of day because it is in, uh, we always commemorate in the church the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And not only the Sacred Heart of Jesus, but today, especially October 16, is the very feast day of the nun, the sister whom Jesus showed himself. No? A visionary, the, the private revelations no? was shared to her. 
In our readings for today, tatlo yan eh, no? The first reading, the responsorial, and the gospel. I am particularly struck by one line. Huh? You know, when we reflect on the word of God, listen to your heart where you are struck. Uh, sometimes because we so much analyze everything that sometimes our reflections are all over places. But uh, I want us to listen to our hearts where you are struck. Because the line that got, uh, got me struck may not be your line. Because exactly the word of God is alive. No? And it talks to you, to your reality. And that is why for me, this struck me. Maybe because it's talking to me directly. And the line is coming from Luke chapter 12, verse 6. And it says, Yet not one of them has escaped the notice of God. Beautiful. And if I paraphrase it in a simple English, God never forgets. And I want us to reflect on this. God never forgets. For example, maybe as we move with our Mass, go, going on with our Mass, try to recall back whether you have some promises uttered in front of God while you were in crisis, while you were in desperation, whether in your happy moments even, you promise something to God and yet you forgot it already. But here in our gospel today and our reflection, I would hammer on the idea that God never forgets. Let me give you a quick example of God never forget thing. You remember Zechariah, the, the husband of Elizabeth? Uh, in the gospel, which is usually read during Christmas season, uh, Zechariah is a priest, and he was given the chance to enter the Holy of Holies. You know the temple before are divided into three. The area of the Holy of Holies covered with a, a uh, what is this, uh, a thick uh, cover, curtain, and then the place of the people, particularly reserved for the male, itong area na to, and the women behind. Unfair, no? It, it, it sounds like discrimination. But actually, it's, a, it's something very, uh, what is this, concrete and practical. The Holy of Holies contain the two tablets of the, the commandments. And it belongs to God. That is why only priests can enter here. But when Jesus you know, died on the cross and resurrected, the curtain, you remember in the gospel, was split into two and it was open. That is why we can enter this space already. But this area are the area of the men. Why? Because when Jews pray, just like the Muslim, no, they bent, magtuwad-tuwad sila. And you know, if women are in front, nga magtuwad-tuwad sila, amuna, eh, syempre, mas ma-inspired yung mga lalaki, magsimba. You know what I mean. Na? And uh, that is the practical setup. But now, because of the wide gender sensitivity and all these things, no, men and women are together. So, Zechariah entered the, the Holy of Holies and an angel appeared to him telling him, Hey, you, Zechariah, your wife will bear a son and you will name him John the Baptist. And the reaction of Zechariah is that he was laughing at the angel because, of course, when they were younger, they wished to have a baby, to have a son. But not anymore in their old age, like 70 years old, 80 years old. Can you imagine? No? So, but the angel told him, your, uh, your wife will bear a son and you will name him John. And eventually he became John the Baptist. And what happened to him? He was muted. Mm, you doubted God, so let me silence you for some time. Mm. He was muted because God wanted him to think it over, especially to review his faith. He was doubting God, yet he was a priest. So, but, you know, earlier in their life, they, they promised you know, to take care of a son, and God never has forgotten his promise. In the same manner, you know, your generation, particularly you students, your generation saw the divine mercy devotion. But that divine mercy devotion, which was propagated by Sister Faustina Kowalska, no, a Polish nun, it started only 1930s. That is why I'm, I'm telling you, your generation saw the divine mercy. 
But earlier, like your parents, our grandparents, our devotion is not on the divine mercy, but on the sacred heart of Jesus. Why? Because 260 years before the apparition of Jesus you know, in, uh, in Poland to Sister Kowalska for the divine mercy devotion, he already appeared in 1670s to another sister, a visitation sister, by the name of Sister Margaret Mary Alacoque. Ang spelling niya is Alacoque, but dun sa amin sa France, we pronounce it Alacoque. No? And she entered the nunnery or the monastery in paris le in France. No? And um, because of Sister Mary, uh, Margaret Mary Alacoque's uh, you know, conversation with Jesus. Now, it was there that Jesus revealed that uh, he wanted that his love be made, uh, shall we say, revealed to the whole world, especially through devotion to the Sacred Heart. But what happened before that? You know, when Margaret was still a, a child, she was something extraordinary, meaning to say, not ordinary, extra nga eh. She loved the Blessed Sacrament. And instead of the typical child who, who plays no, a lot no, in the ground, she wants silence and she wants prayer, as young as she is. And then she began practicing severe, shall we say, severe corporal mortification. You know, when you say severe corporal mortification, it's like, you know, it's the fad of the time. It's the call of the time. You want to be holy? Then you have to mortify your senses. She eats less. You know, we heard about Dominic Sabio before, that when he sleeps on his bed, he, he places some rocks. Diba? So that, those are kind of practices of severe corporal mortification. Right after he received his first Holy Communion at nine years old. Can you imagine that? And uh, it, it already... Uh, parang, there's already a sense of the divine in, in her that the, the parents and other people noticed. But unfortunately, because of her mortification, severe mortification, she had a rheumatic fever. Rheumatic fever, ginugel ko siya. No? It's, uh, it's something very serious. Rheumatic, of course, the joints. Sumakit yung mga joints niya and always visited by fever, etc. So many symptoms. And it confined her to bed for four years. So she cannot walk for four years. And in moments of difficulty and crisis, she uttered a prayer to God, especially to the Blessed Virgin Mary. And she said, Blessed Mother, Lord, if ever I get well from this sickness, I will enter the convent and become a nun. She promised. And uh, of course, fast forward, the family uh, experienced the death of the father and they experienced misery, not only poverty, but misery. But gradually, through the mother, they climbed, no? They climbed above the, the, the challenge of poverty and they were able to rise up, no? From poverty. And when she was already 17 years old, the mother noticed that she is kind of so introvert as a person. And so, the mother encouraged her, Hey, umatend ka naman ng mga parties. Be sociable so that who knows, you may have, you may found a, a suitable husband for you. She's so obedient to the mother, she attended a, a party, a ball actually, dressed in a beautiful gown. But after attending a party, you know what happened? She saw a vision of Jesus. Grabe, no? Binantayan siya ni Jesus. She saw a vision of Jesus, scourged and blooded. And uh, Jesus reminded her, uh, in fact, the word used in the biography, Jesus accused Margaret of forgetting about him. He showed her that his heart was full of love for her because of the promise she made when she was younger. God never forgets. God never forgets. And so, when she heard those sweet words from Jesus, that I love you so much, that in fact, I focus my love on you because you promised to be a nun, 
Immediately after that, she went to the mother and asked permission, May I enter the nunnery? And therefore, she entered the congregation of the Visitation Sisters in Paray-Limonial in France, May 1671. So fast forward. You know, uh, we have come to know that it was not only when he entered the convent that uh, she had a vision of Jesus, even before pala. When she was younger, she is already seeing visions, particularly of Jesus. But she thought, no, kasi nga, she is not that sociable with other people. She thought it's something normal that we see visions. No? Uh, maybe now, if you see vision and you hear voices, you can call that person schizo, diba? schizophrenic. But uh, she was so convinced that it's something normal. So she just continued her daily routine. But when she entered finally the nunnery in the, the visitation convent or monastery, it was there that Jesus finally revealed his sacred heart to her. Series of encounters and conversations. And that is why today we have the, the first Friday devotions. That was 1670s Panagsimula. We have also the Holy R on Thursday, the day before the Good Friday, or the day before we commemorate the Sacred Heart on Fridays. And of course, we have now the Feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, celebrated after the Feast of the, uh, the Body and Blood of Christ. Obviously, when she started to share her story to the Mother Superior, just like any visionary, when Mother Mary appeared to Fatima to the three children, no, people do not believe no, their, their testimonies. The same thing with Bernadette Subiru, the, the visionary of Lourdes. She was, uh, they, they don't uh, believe no, her testimonies. The same thing with our saint of the day, Sister M.M., Margaret Mary. She, uh, she shared her, the, the revelations of Jesus to her superiors, yet the superior sabe. Kumain ka, gutom lang yan. <laughs> and see, it's written in the biography, inilonggo ko lang, gutom lang yan. And, uh, but she is kind of lucky because she is regular with her confessor. The name of the confessor is Father Claude de Colombier. He is also a French uh, priest. And uh, since confessions is regular, no, the confessor knows her through and through, no, her, her human struggles, her spiritual life, no, etc. So, Father Claude told the superior, the mother superior, and declared that her visions of Jesus were genuine. And later on, by the grace of God, Mary Margaret Alacoc became the novice mistress no, and became a superior in the house, and therefore, those doubts vanished. Fast forward, patayin na natin. She died October 17, 9, uh, 1690 at the age of 43. And you know, her last words are so beautiful. I need nothing but God and to lose myself in the heart of Jesus. Again, I need nothing but God and to lose myself in the heart of Jesus. So I will just leave to you for our personal reflection. This theme for today, God never forgets. The promise of Mary Margaret was still when she was a child. She uttered the promise. Maybe some of you promised too. Maybe some of you promised, Lord, I will cut already my vices. Or maybe, Lord, I, as simple as, Lord, I will go to Mass every Sunday starting today after the recollection. And yet, sometimes you forget, but God never forgets. Or maybe some of you, Lord, magbabayad na ako ng utang. No? God never forgets. Even yung inutangan mo, never forgets. Pero seriously, no? Um, there are moments in our life such as crisis or moments of ecstatic joy wherein we utter some promises. Remember those things. Because God will come back to you in one way or another. Amen.
Let us all stand for the prayers of the faithful. My dear students, teachers, and parents, let us pray to our Father in heaven with complete trust so that free from all paralyzing fears, we may have the courage to build up his kingdom. Let our prayer be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. that our church leaders may not be discouraged by the trials and challenge of renewal, but be more committed and zealous in bringing about change and conversion in society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are persecuted because of their belief in Jesus Christ may be strengthened and sustained by their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that we Christians may find joy in our faith even when we are faced with trials and distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That those who suffer in this life, especially the sick, may experience the healing comfort of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may reap the rewards of their labor let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our family's intentions. Particularly, may I invite you to whisper in the heart of Jesus the names of our family members and also include the, the visitation sisters in our prayers. Let us keep quiet for a while. God, our Father, we thank you for listening to our prayers, especially for our families and our concerns. Hear us always and uh, keep us in your heart. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of Margaret Mary Alacoque be pleasing to you O God for taught by him we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth 
the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Veramente santo, fonte di ogni santità, santifica questo doni con le fusione del tuo spirito, perché diventino per noi il corpo e il sangue di Gesù Cristo nostro Signore. Egli offrendosi liberamente alla sua passione, prese il pane e rese grazie, lo spezzo lo diede ai suoi discepoli e disse, prendete e mangiatene tutti, questo è il mio corpo offerto in sacrificio per voi. Dopo la cena, allo stesso modo, prese il calice e rese grazie. Lo diede ai suoi discepoli e disse, Prendete e bevetene tutti. Questo è il calice del mio sangue per la nuova ed eterna alianza, versato per voi e per tutti in remissione dei peccati. Fate questo in memoria di me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord. Celebrando il memoriale della morte e resurrezione del tuo figlio, ti offriamo, Padre, il pane della vita e il calice della salvezza, e ti rendiamo grazie per averci ammessi alla tua presenza a compiere il servizio sacerdotale. Ripreghiamo umilmente per la comunione al corpo e al sangue di Cristo lo Spirito Santo ci riunisca in un solo corpo. Ricordati, Padre, della tua Chiesa, diffusa su tutta la terra. Rendila perfetta in amore e in unione con il nostro Papa Francesco, il nostro Vescovo Patricio e tutto l'ordine sacerdotale. Ricordati dei nostri fratelli che si sono addormentati nella speranza della resurrezione e di tutti i defunti che si affidano alla tua clemenza ammetteli a godere la luce del tuo volto. Di noi tutti abbi misericordia, donaci di aver parte alla vita eterna, insieme con la Beata Maria, Vergine e Madre di Dio, con San Giuseppe, con gli Apostoli e tutti i Santi che in ogni tempo ti furono graditi, in Gesù Cristo tuo Figlio canteremo la tua gloria. Per Cristo, con Cristo e in Cristo, a te, Dio Padre Onipotente, nell'unità dello Spirito Santo, ogni onore e gloria per tutti i secoli dei secoli.
bring our prayers and praises into one, let us pray in the words Jesus himself taught us. your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another the beautiful sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Cordero ng Diyos na nag-alis ng mga kasalanan ng mundo Maawa ka sa amin Kordero ng Diyos Maawa ka Kordero ng Diyos na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan ng mundo maawa ka sa amin kordero ng Diyos maawa ka kordero ng Diyos na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan ng mundo ipagkaloob mo sa amin ang kapayapaan My dearly beloved, behold Jesus He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say, say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. healed.
the body of Christ. the teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ, the living bread, that on the feast day of Saint Margaret Mary Alacoque, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us uh, offer one Hail Mary 
especially for any Bosconians and their family who are in difficulty as of the moment. As we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Likewise, we pray one Hail Mary for all the missionaries working around the world. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And students following us online, let us also pray one Hail Mary for all your teachers, especially for their intentions. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God, the God of all families, bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go and bring Christ's love to our families. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. For God so loved the world, He gave us His only Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. 